Hey guys, today I have a haul for you today. Two brands that I wanted to show you guys that I got. I got two collections from Chanel and Dior, both the summer 2013 collections. Um, these are the two brands that I usually go to first when it comes to collections and getting it first. And then every now and then I'll, like every now and then I'll just go and check other brands. Um, I'm interested in Guerlain, I'm interested in Bobbi Brown, a couple um, other collections like MAC. Um, they're releasing their collection soon, so, um, you know, I'm still like looking a little bit, just to, you know, keep you guys posted, but um, the Chanel and Dior ones I picked up a, about a week and a half ago. Um, I got sh the Chanel collection first, and then I got the Dior collection later. Um, the Chanel collection that I'm going to show you guys, I have all blog posts on close-up photos, swatches, all that good stuff. So I'm not going to be swatching any of those things in this video. I will link everything down below, um, you know, when I'm talking about it, down in the description bar if you guys want to see more detail, my personal opinion about it, and I'll talk about it here. But um, all this stuff is on my blog. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I went to my Chanel counter and I was so excited when this collection was going to be released because the Chanel collection is inspired by butterflies and I, the thing with these two collections especially is they're very similar in a way. They're both inspired by animals. They're both inspired by exotic bright colors where as opposed to a lot of the other brands they usually stick to the traditional summer collections. Usually they have a bronzer, usually they have, um, you know, a lot of bronzed looking things. Um, so I really appreciate that Chanel and Dior kind of went a little bit different in their direction and kind of brought something new to the table when it comes to summer collections. For Chanel, I'm going to go ahead and start with the probably the most the biggest thing in the collection which is their new stilo eyeshadow pencils these are basically cream eyeshadow sticks and there are six in the collection and i got two out of the six um the first one is called moon river number no. seven it's kind of a taupey gold color it's really really pretty it's great for just a natural eye that's why i got it i thought it'd be great for you know um just something to wear all the time any day and the other one I got is Blue Bay number 47, which is blue, obviously. And these eyeshadow pencils are so creamy, and they have a cooling effect when you apply it out of the stick. Um, very pigmented, I would say, to use a primer underneath because they can crease a little bit on their own. They're very shimmery, but they're, they're beautiful. I love them. And it's a very fine shimmer, so it's not like chunks of glitter. Um, the other four in the collection, there was a pink, a gold, a black, and a green. And I swatched all of them at the store, and I loved, like, they were so pretty. And I might go back to more, I don't know. These are really, really nice products. They're all limited edition, unfortunately. I wish Chanel maybe um, had something like this in their permanent line. Um, the other thing... Um, that is pretty big in the line is their mascaras. Now, Chanel released, I think, like four or five different colored mascaras. Um, they are all from the Amenable Intense mascara, like the original that came out a few years ago, and that still to this, that is still to this day the best high-end mascara I've ever used, and it is the first high-end mascara I ever bought for myself, and I love it. And Chanel released different colored mascaras. They have a yellow, a green, a teal, and the one I got, a cobalt blue. Um, the wand for this is just amazing. It's just a little precise little brush, and the color of this is just a really nice deep blue. Now the thing with this is I've worn it a few times. The key with this is if you want a really strong pigmentation, obviously apply it to your naked lashes, no mascara. But I like to apply it to the ends of my lashes, and the thing is, if you look at it straight on, you really won't see the blue, but as you turn your head, it gives that blue tint to it, which is really pretty, and it's subtle. So it's not like, you know, some colored mascaras are just way too extreme and way too intense, and you're just like, oh my gosh, way too much. So this is great. Um, it's just a nice, subtle color. Now, for the lip products, there were three lip products each. There was two, three lipsticks and three lip glosses. And I'm going to start with the lipsticks. These are Rouge Coco Shines. Basically, they're just like a shiny lip balm. 
like they're not I wouldn't say they're lipsticks because some of them are more pigmented than others but they're really moisturizing very creamy and really nice on the lips so the I got two out of the three the third one was just a clear balm and I was like I really don't need that so I didn't get that one but the two that I did pick up this is number 457 Idilly that's how you pronounce it it's just a nice kind of creamy like nude coral orange color it's really nice and I have pictures of this on my lips and it's really not that pigmented but I kind of like it like it's just a nice subtle color you can kind of see it but it's very subtle and the other one is called Pigmalin number 467 which obviously is more intense it's kind of a bright pink I'm wearing it on my lips now as you can see you can see it's got pigmentation to it but um, this is the deepest color in the collection and it's just a beautiful creamy color and obvious and the thing I wanted to also point out is it is a strange floral scent usually lipsticks don't have a floral scent to them but it doesn't bother me um, my lips aren't too sensitive so these two are the ones I got and I really really like them and the Glossomers um, there were three in these as well and they're supposed to go with the Rouge Coco shines so the other Glossomer that I didn't get was just a white clear gloss and I was like I don't need a clear gloss I'd rather have color on my lips so um, this one obviously can it goes with the first one I showed you the creamy orange um, Idilly, I think that's what it's called. Um, this one doesn't have a name, but it's called, it's 427. So it's just a nice shimmery peachy orange color. Really, really nice. Um, the Glossomers, I have to tell you guys, these, the Chanel Glossomers always win best high-end gloss like in magazines like they always have like the best of the best makeup and these always win for best gloss it's like wow like there's this is these lip glosses are great I really really think if you guys if you guys love getting lip gloss I would say pick a color that you love and you know that you'll wear and try one of these because they really are amazing um and the other one is 437 which is the one i'm wearing now and it's just a nice kind of sherbet pink this has no shimmer and it. it's more of just a just a solid color really really beautiful i love this one so the last thing that i got in the chanel collection are their nail polishes i got two out of the three the third one that i didn't get was it's called lilis i think it's a bright pink coral it's beautiful but I found that it wasn't really unique I could probably find something like that at SE or OPI or something so I wanted to get two colors that I think are so unique and beautiful the first one is called Belle Argus number 667 this beautiful deep blue that's just stunning I love this color so much it's beautiful it changes color um, as you turn the bottle I have a close-up photo of this that I love it's just so pretty to look at and it's just a beautiful color um, the Chanel nail polishes this one I I wore my fingers and it's you don't even need two coats if you don't want to like it's very pigmented I would say use a top coat because they can chip a little bit quicker um, but these are really good and then the other one I got is called Azure number 657, which is more of a bluish green color, but as you turn it, it's just a beautiful, it's just, it changes color, which I love. It's like, you stare at your nails and you're just like, whoa, it's just, it's really, it's really cool. So this is um, Azure, which is, I just love this color so much, it's so pretty. So, and then um, since I bought a lot of the stuff from the collection, I got a free little bag. Um, I got a little makeup bag. I got a little red baggie that's really cute. So I think this is perfect for like throwing in your purse or um, no samples in this though, which I was kind of disappointed. But they did give me a few samples. Um, I got some like sunscreen and I think some skincare products. All right, that is everything I got from the Chanel collection. And for Dior, Dior's summer collection was called Birds of Paradise, which is basically kind of like um, Chanel, where it's inspired by bright tropical colors, blues, greens, corals, pinks, stuff like that. So the first thing that I got from Dior is the Dior Skin Nude Tan Paradise Duo Iridescent Blush and Bronzing Powder in number one pink glow. So the packaging's like this, it's really big. And the first thing, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Um, you know how Dior usually has the little felt packaging? It has a little packaging for the brush. And here's the little brush, it's so cute. 
I love it. The blush comes in the little felt packaging with CD, and it has this beautiful mir mirrored quilt effect to it. And you open it up and get it open. And on the top is, it says nude, on the top is a lighter color, on the bottom is a darker color. So you can mix it up whatever way you want, light, dark, core, like a uh, blush, bronzer, whatever you prefer. They also had a coral one in the, um, they had the pink glow and the coral glow. And I just thought the pink one I could wear more year round. Whereas coral, I usually wear in the summer, so, um, I, but they, these are great and I love them. The next two things that I got are lip products, and I think Dior had two lipsticks and two other lip products, I think. Um, but I only got one of each. Um, this is the Dior Addict Lipstick in number 751 Exotic, which I love Dior packaging so much. It's just so pretty and classy and just beautiful. Um, this is a bright pink um, very bright pink and it's very pretty. I think this would look great on like more tan people as well. Just like bright lips like that. So, um, really, really pretty. And the other lip product that I got is a jelly lip pen. Now these lip pens are seriously getting a ton of attention recently. Like all these brands are creating these little pens and this one is in 656 Gaia. Gaia? I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, jelly lip pen, Dior, like that. And this is just a nice soft pink color. Um, really, really pretty. I think this would be great just as a neutral pink. Um, and the thing I like about this, this is really no scent because I know a lot of brands like to um, have these pens smell like spearmint. And it's just, it's weird. Like, it doesn't bother me, but I... I would prefer it to really have no scent or like a sweeter fruity scent, not spearmint. I don't know. It's just weird. Um, and the last thing that I got from the collection is this genius idea Dior came up with. I love this idea so much. These, they have two little kits of duo nail polishes. So basically they're duo. So one's for your hands, one's for your feet. And there's the other one that I didn't get is a deep blue with a hot bright pink. And the one that I did get is called Samba number one. And they're so cute. They're so little and they're adorable. And it looks like this. Um, these don't have names individually. They just come as a kit. And this one kind of reminds me of Azir from Chanel. It's just a really nice deep green blue color. It changes in the light. And then the other one is like this little mint green color. It's so cute. And it's pretty. And it's just... I would love to, um, I think Dior should have this like in every collection. I think this is a genius idea. And the last thing that I got from Dior, but not from the summer collection, is their Dior Skin Nude BB Cream in number one. Of course, number one, because I'm the lightest shade always. Um, but it looks like this, and I've worn it a few times, and I really, really like it. Um, it has a pump at the top, and it's just a nice kind of creamy BB cream. It's not watery. Um, since I always compare it to like my Maybelline since that's the one I've been using for so long But this has a little bit more coverage. It has SPF 10 and it's just really nice to blend into the skin not a strong scent which I like and It's just a really nice product and I really am impressed and since I bought a few things from Dior I got a gift box as well and in this gift box comes a it's black and it has Dior Beauty written across and then on the side is this cute little keychain. It's CD for Christian Dior and a little star and you zip it open. This one has samples so I'm excited about that. Um, the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum spray sample which I know a lot of people love this scent. It's very popular and I, I've smelled this before and I really like it. Another one is the Dior Dior Show Mascara, which I've always wanted to try. Um, the One Essential Total Capture, Capture Total Skin Boosting Super Serum, which would be interesting because I know serums are very expensive. So hopefully I don't fall in love with it. Um, and the last thing is the cutest thing that I've ever seen in my life. It's so adorable. It's a little mini Dior lipstick. It's so cute. I was like, oh my god. Um, this is actually very similar to the color that I bought in full size. Um, this is in 
number 578. So, really cute, really pretty color. Really like it. Oh my god, my lighting is so bright. Jeez. Well, guys, that is everything that I got today. I hope you guys found this helpful, fun. I know that a lot of people really don't like, you know, sometimes people just like looking at drugstore products, but I like to expand my collection and try high-end and drugstore makeup. So, um, you know, I love Chanel and Dior. They really are one of the best. Um, I will have all my blog posts down below. I did not, I still have to put up a lot of the Dior stuff, so stay tuned for that. Um, so follow me on my blog, you know, like I'll, I keep, posting regularly so um that should be up very soon but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys like this video if you did give a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys on tuesday with my next video bye